Dear ones, I'm at Waycross Camping Conference Center for our annual clergy conference and retreat. And I can't believe that it's been a year since we were all gathered together in Clues Hall for the consecration for, of me to serve as your 11th Bishop of the Diocese of Indianapolis. And what a year it's been. I remember during the search process, someone actually said to me that this was kind of a quiet diocese and there wasn't a lot going on. Well, there couldn't be anything further from the truth as I've gotten to know all of you in the various places where you live and move and have your being. Whether I've been in West Terre Haute or Lawrenceburg or Lafayette or Jeffersonville or Indianapolis or Bloomington, I have seen how God is powerfully at work in the world through the ministry that we offer and share. I have no doubt that God is doing something really special with us and it has been a joy and privilege to see how that is already unfolding and has been unfolding for a very long time. As I think about the work that is before us, I get excited to imagine how we are doing the work of what it means to be faithful Christians, to be faithful ministers, to be faithful members of the Episcopal branch of the Jesus movement and how we're called to invite others to join us in that journey and to see how God is already at work out in the world and to join with that. The work of evangelism is something I'm excited by and I know that many of you have already begun to sign up for some of the evangelism days that we have planned out for the rest of the year. As I think about what our mission strategy is, how do I continue to support you in the ministries where you already serve and how I and my staff can be with you as we dream anew about how to do fresh expressions of mission and ministry out in the world. And we can all do it. Doesn't matter the size of our community or the size of our congregation, we can all be thinking in fresh new ways about how to bring the love of Jesus out into the world and to invite others to see it unfolding in their very midst. I'm also excited about the work of becoming beloved community. We are continuing to do the deep work of telling the truth that will lead us, I pray, towards racial healing and reconciliation. There is that and so much more, and I'm learning from all of you day by day how God is calling us in this particular place and time to be beacons of Jesus Christ. And so let us continue to pray for one another and for the work that is before us. Let us continue to rejoice and have fun with the way that God is calling us to be joyful and light even in the midst of some of the challenges in our world. God indeed is up to something special and what a privilege it is to be with you in all of it. Blessings, my friends.